Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. So honestly, it's just about every day these days that everybody's second favorite diversity hire, Corinne Jean-Pierre, proves to us that she really is without a doubt, she's in the wrong job. You know, she proves this every single time that she doesn't like a question, which because our press corps is largely a bunch of spineless, handpicked by the state, literal intellectual eunuchs, you know, She's not challenged as often as she should be, so she doesn't dislike the question enough. But anyway, she keeps looking for a way to answer these uncomfortable questions without looking like a total fool. And one of the ways she does it lately, it might be her smarter move. She just ignores the question. But apparently when the subject is allegedly corrupt payments flowing from Biden to Biden, she just ends the press conference altogether like a spoiled little kid just taking her ball and going home. House is secretly funding a domestic call record dragnet administered by AT&T. Um, apparently, according to Wired, uh, the White House halted funding for this program in 2021 and resumed it last year. And I was wondering what you could tell us about this program and the reason that it was paused and then resumed by the White so, House. So, um, would have to check with the team. I don't have anything specific to tell you about uh, 702. So is it, that's what you're, you're asking me about. I just don't have anything to share on that particular question. Thanks. Online censorship question. Uh, last week, the House Judiciary Committee subpoenaed Rob Flaherty um, about the efforts to influence social media moderation. Um, is the White House going to seek to block that testimony? Um, and is there any reconsideration by the White House um, or regrets about the past flagging of social media content for removal? So I'm just going to uh, be. Um be very clear here, my colleagues at the White House Counsel's Office has already addressed this, so I would have to refer you to them. I'm just not, I don't have anything to add specifically on this. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, whoever, you already got a question. Go ahead, Phil. Thank you. Uh, the White House has said repeatedly that the President and his son were never in business together. They've said that repeatedly also in this room. Um, according to bank records obtained by the House Oversight Committee, though, uh, one of Hunter Biden's businesses Osawa PC set up direct payments to the president. Uh, did the president accept payment? And why would there be such an arrangement if they were never in business together or if there was a wall of separation as the president has previously said? So I have to be uh, clear with you. I, I have not seen that report, so I would have to refer you to my colleagues over at the White House Counsel's Office on that particular question. All right, everyone. I'll see some of you in Boston or on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, so guys, here's the problem with diversity hires. You know, not only are they chosen based on physical characteristics instead of merit, but here's the real problem. Once you have yourself a prized diversity hire, you're stuck. You're completely stuck with them because the same people who get preferential treatment in hiring, they're the same people that are basically impossible to fire. And the more boxes they check, the harder it is to actually get rid of them. And she's a perfect, perfect example. She doesn't even have to do her job. Her job is to answer questions that are asked on behalf of the American people. The American people, they're not asking about electric cars or very, very minor job growth. They're not asking about the CHIPS Act or whatever other nonsense these people think are an actual success. They want to know if their president and his family are corrupt. They want to know if they've been lied to. That's really all they want to know. And if you're not going to help them to get a clear understanding that they absolutely deserve, we deserve this, we deserve to know, we deserve these answers, then she honestly, she should not be in that job, no matter how many boxes she checks. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. And if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.